and it's a really lovely deck it's got a lot of colors on it so it's very very I've got a lot of energies going through these cards. So the first card is Confusion over here. So you've got that Eight of Swords over there, Jupiter in uh, Gemini. Now, uh, uh, Jupiter is a planet of expansion. The, it likes its freedom. And then Gemini uh, is ruled by this Mercury. And Mercury, um, you know, is about mind, about thinking and about the mind. So there's a lot of thoughts going through your mind. You want your freedom. You want to expand your mind. And it's causing a lot of confusion. There might be some negative thoughts going on. Uh, Mercury is not always a, a very positive planet. It's, it's sometimes, you know, it brings about, um, you know, worst case scenarios going through your head. So you might be having that uh, confusion, uh, you know, feeling a little bit negative that going through your mind as well. Now you've got the fire card over here, which is the child's creative spark. So some brand new idea has come to you and you want to put that into action. And maybe, you know, you don't have the confidence to go for it. And you're thinking about, you know, the worst case scenario that it's all not going to work out. So this is where that negativity is coming in. So this, your mind is, you know, on fire. You're thinking about this new idea and you want to do it, but you know, you're a bit dubious about whether or not it's going to be successful. You're feeling a bit restricted by finances as well. You've got the boundary card of here, the sun in Capricorn. So you're having to work very hard. You're very focused on your work, but also being very confined by it. So because Saturn is ruled, Saturn rules Capricorn over here. So it's a planet of restrictions. So where you want to branch out and you want to be free and you want to do things, then, uh, you know, the Saturn brings in all the doubts and the fears. And, and that may be where you are at. You're also watching your finances quite a bit. So you're having problems, a little bit of problems with money over there, feeling, uh, you know, uh, a bit um, stretched as far as your finances go. So there's some kind of restriction happening on your finances as well. So in the past, you've got the Purity card over here. So this is the Ten of Cups. And this shows that, you know, you've got Pisces over there. This is showing uh, Pluto brings about endings to difficult situations. So you had Mars there. So there might have been a lot of arguments, fights, uh, challenges that you were facing. But it seems like with this Pluto, it brought an end to that. And it uh, the uh, Ten of Cups is usually an end of a difficult cycle. So you came to a very difficult emotional experience you have the um uh this is the devil card and it's called mary magdalene in this particular deck and it's ruled by capricorn over here so you could have been dealing with a capricorn person but this is also about being very restricted restricted being very manipulated in a situation and feeling very negative about whatever situation you were dealing with but it seems like that has now come to an end and you know maybe it's left you with a little bit of residual fear or confusion about you know a lack of confidence going on because maybe something happened uh, in that situation that took away your confidence and it makes you scared to act so going into the future, you've got the mother, the birth card over here, and this is the Virgo card, and this is the birth of new work coming in for you. And it's an earth card over here, so this is the queen of um, pentacles, and this is showing that, you know, uh, something new coming on the work front, but you're also bringing in some abundance and growth coming in for you. And this is a new focus on work as well coming in. This is also, you know, maybe new study even coming in for you here. And then you've got the patient card over here, so this is healing from any difficult situation. This is the four of swords. You've got Jupiter here in um, um, Libra, and Libra is ruled by Venus. So this is, you know, really good. Jupiter is the uh, uh, major benefic uh, planet, so it brings in a lot of abundance. And then um, um, to, um, Venus, is, which rules uh, Libra, is also a benefic planet. So it's a positive change. So things are going to... Um, to change for the better for you, but you just have to have a little bit of patience, uh, you know, focus your energies and calm down and get your balance back. And it looks like things will start coming your way. Abundance will be coming in for you. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to do, use the Manga Tower for the uh, main read. Okay, so you've got uh, the judgment card over here. So this is moving away from very, very difficult situations. This is finding that new pathway in life, uh, changing your direction, changing your goals and moving on, rising above the circumstance, being single-minded, being focused and being caught to do that. So this is part of your divine plan. You need to make that decision and move on. Cut away the past. Take those lessons from the past that are going to only help you in the future uh, and move forward.
So you're being called to do that. And whatever you do will be successful because this card is usually angelically guided. And this is a resurrection of an old idea or, or you know, following something, completing a task that you should have finished and being successful at it. So it's a very, very good card. And also those people that have been giving you grief get their karmic, uh, whatever's owed to them karmically. So they will have their, um, you know, if they, they did you down, then they will get what is coming to them. So this is uh, being guided on your path and being successful, but also needing to make a decision to move on to something different. You've got the Nine of Wands over here and you've got the Justice card. So you might have been facing some kind of legal situation. That's... Uh, <clears throat> put you right on edge. You are expecting the worst case scenario with this nine of wands. There was some kind of big problem that you dealt with. Maybe you're waiting for this judgment to come in. So you're waiting for de a decision and, you know, you, you are, you know, being very vigilant. This is being, um, you know, um, expecting things to go completely um, wrong, really. But this is a final battle, almost as though, you know, uh, you've been facing a lot of problems, legal difficulties. This judgment is coming through and you are, you know, on your guard, really, um, and um, waiting for this particular decision to come through. So something legal that you're dealing with at this particular moment, and it looks like there's a judgment that is going to be passed. Now, you've got the Queen of Wands in the past over here, so you might have been dealing with a fire sign person uh, who is the Queen of Wands, but this is also you taking your control back again, uh, getting empowered back in that situation again. So there was some kind of drama. So if you were dealing with a fire sign person, you had um, some kind of big difficulties with this person. It could have been something legal. It ended up in something legal, but you were dealing with this very, very difficult person. And this is you trying to get that control back of that situation. It certainly led to some kind of uh, financial loss where you've had to go and ask for some financial assistance. So money has been coming in, but it left you feeling very, very poverty stricken, whatever this particular situation was that you dealt with. So it caused loss and it need, meant that you needed to go and ask for some kind of aid, some kind of assistance. So what's in your mind? You've got the Prince of Cups over here. You want a new offer to come in. You want to move on, so you want a new offer. Maybe you want to start a new study or start to move in a new direction and you're waiting for some kind of offer to come in as well. Now, there will be victory. So whatever situation you're dealing with, you're going to be extremely victorious. There's a message of communication coming in, and it, look like, it looks like as soon as that comes in, you'll be very, very busy after that because it's a red flag. It means action is going to uh, occur after this message comes in. But with a, a six of wands, it's usually uh, being victorious, uh, winning that battle. So if you're waiting for this legal, uh, the legal outcome of this case, it looks like it's going to go in your favor, and it's going to be something successful. So although you're very, very worried about it, Let's just move that card. You're very worried about this particular situation. It looks like you are going to be victorious and a lot of recognition coming in. So people realize that, you know, you have been wronged and they will give you that support that you need. Now, you have been dealing with a very, very difficult situation. There's this big bear and she's dancing in the moonlight with this bear, which shows that, you know, you've been really not sleeping at night, very anxious. Uh, it's been a big problem, but it, you will be able to sort it out. So this is the end of that difficult cycle. And you've been facing overwhelming problems because it, this bear is very much bigger this woman, than this woman. I mean, you know, he could do anything to her. So whatever that problem is, it's been really big. It's been keeping you up at night, depressing you, upsetting you quite a bit. And, you know, you're going through that period of being very uh, low uh, or very confused at this particular moment. Now, you've got the completion card, uh, and it looks like uh, there will be uh, closure to the situation. And, you know, this is, looks like it's going to go in your favor with the world card because this is usually successful completion, successful closure. So whatever you're, going to, you're facing with, whatever problems you're dealing with, uh, you know, it's now at an end. It's coming to an end of that cycle, and you will be successful in it. And, uh, you know, um, there will be um, victory on your part as well. You will get closure. So uh, there you are. You've got that King of Swords over here. So still being very, very anxious about this uh, impending uh, uh, legal problem that you're facing. So you are waiting for that legal decision to come in. And it is worrying you quite a bit. You're very scared about whatever the outcome of that case is going to be. Now, you've got the Three of Swords over here, the Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is being very, very upset about, uh, you know, having faced a lot of heartbreak. You might have had a lot of loss within this particular situation. You're still very, very, very upset about it, very heartbroken about it. It looks like, uh, you know, a lot of people let you down. There may have been betrayal as well, and you're trying to deal with that. So you haven't got open hadn't haven't gotten over the heartbreak of whatever's happened you're still crying a lot about it you need to get out of that energy and claim your victory the chariot card is showing you need to take control you need to take your control back 
be very single-minded and you need to be in charge of whatever happens. So, um, you know, regardless of everybody else, you need to think about yourself, protect yourself, but also take control and speak. Say what you need to say. Take your, your power back. This is very, very important. You m might be moving home. You might be moving on. Uh, and you're also ending whatever that situation was. So it looks like there might be some kind of financial payoff from whatever this legal issue is that you're dealing with. So there's going to be some kind of money coming in as well. But it, you end that situation. Now, this could have been a family situation. This is a situation involving money. So you could have had, this could have been a divorce because it, could have been about joint finances between you and somebody else and maybe this is the reason why you're moving home or this could be end of a work situation and you're ending um, your service to the that particular company and you're moving on uh, you know moving off uh, to do something else and something has upset you quite a bit so this is not something that is done lightly you have gone through a lot and now you're having to deal with that particular situation and move on but you will be victorious there is victory coming your way and you are going to be moving on victoriously and there is closure coming so success will be coming to you even with the world card there's usually some kind of financial payoff as well but you're going to start a brand new job somewhere else with that particular card now this is the guardian angel tarot and this is for the oracle read and it says open your heart allow love to grow and bloom all around you you waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for some time now and uh, make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps guided you are guided to take joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life so it looks like you know something brand new is coming into your life that's going to make you quite happy it could be a person but it could be also a new situation where you're out of all the drama and and then you've got the two of action which says trust in your ability to make uh, excellent choices there's an opportunity all around if you just continue to move forward it may help it may be time to take on a new partner who will help you be a success in your career or creative endeavor so keep your eyes on the big picture rather than on the details of the moment so there's a good friend coming in somebody that you relate to somebody that you can trust and somebody that you can rely on and that person is going to be able to help you and give you advice and guidance on how to move forward then the final card is the heel of thought which says it's time to clean up your life get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized uh, people who take from you but don't give back should be released as well so get rid of any energy vampires uh, you and another person involved in the situation is wise insightful and caring and has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience so you might be meeting somebody that is going to help you uh, like they said with this uh, two of action there's somebody there that comes in to help you but also this card is advising get rid of any kind of energy vampire that uh, is causing you uh, draining your energy so anything that is not serving you anybody that is not serving you leave them behind and move forward and be very single-minded do the thing that you like and you will be victorious in it so it looks like you will be moving on and whatever that legal situation it looks like they, it's going to be in your favor there might be some kind of financial settlement that comes in with that and it looks like you might be moving home as well so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now